The circuit in the figure below, this one, is energized by two sinusoidal voltage sources, VA and VB. They are given as functions of times VA is 15 root 2 sine 400 T volts, and VB is 9 root 2 sine 400 T plus 60 pi over 180 volts. Find A, what is the current in the source on the left, this current, as a function of time and with the reference direction given in the figure, this reference direction. And B, what is the active and the reactive power, P and Q, delivered by that source, A. We take this problem to the phasor's domain. We'll represent the sources VA and VB by phasors like this. VA will be the phasor VA, which has an RMS value of 15. This is an RMS phasor or an IEEE phasor, 15 volts with 0 degrees. And VB has an RMS value of 9 volts and the phase of 60 degrees. Those are the two phasors for VA and VB. And the passive elements will be represented by impedances. But for that, we need what is the frequency omega. The frequency omega is given by the sources as 400 radians per second. With that frequency, we can represent the inductors of 5 millihenries by their impedances, remembering that the reactance is omega L and that is 400 times uh, 5 millihenries, and that is 2 ohms. And the 500 microfarads capacitor is going to be represented by its impedance, negative 1 would be the reactance, negative 1 over omega C, that is negative 5 ohms. Those are the reactances of the inductors and the capacitors. Now we can redraw the circuit in the phasor domain. As in the figure, I have combined the impedance of the resistor and the inductor in this complex impedance 2-2, the same here and the same in this branch. The sources are represented by their phasors, 15 volts with 0 degrees and 9 volts with 60 degrees. Reference node, node number one, branch currents are chosen. We we'll write one KCL equation and we solve for V1. But we are going to use instead the KCL equation by inspection. You say, well, there's only one equation, so the matrix is going to have only one element. So, this way, the coefficient is the sum of all the admittances connected to node 1. Inverse of 2, 2, inverse of 2, negative 5, inverse of 3, 2. And the right-hand side term is the sum of all the current sources feeding node 1, which if we convert this Thevenin branch into a Norton, 1 would be 15 over 2, 2, this current source, and 960 over 3, 2. We shall for V1 directly, but I'm going to do that in the calculator and find directly what is V1, of course. 2 space 2, that is the first one, inverse through 2 space 5 negative, enter inverse and 3, 2, 3 space 2, enter inverse. We add them together and we have the right hand side coefficient is 1. And then on the right hand side we have 15 over 2, 2, 15, enter 2 space 2, enter divide. That is this current being fed on the left. And on the right hand side 960, for that I send the calculator in polar form and I say 9 space 60 degrees. That is that one and then I go back to rectangular divided by 3, 2, 3 space 2. Complex number divide. And then I sum them and that is the right-hand side. I divide the right-hand side by this coefficient, 
swap, division, and that is my voltage in polar form, that is 1097. with negative 0, 0.99 degrees negative 1 degrees practically, right? this current is then 15 minus V1, which is known this value here divided by the impedance of that branch 2, 2 that current is 143, but that is the RMS value. And the phase is negative 42.3 degrees. These are amps. But the exercise asks us to find that current as a function of time. This is the RMS value. We need the peak value, 143 multiplied by root 2. The frequency is the same as the sources, 400 radians per second and the phase negative 42.3 pi divided 180 these are amps those are amps let's go now for the power delivered by that source that's given to us by the Steinmetz formula voltage of the source VA times the conjugate of the current in the source with that direction that is given that that is 15 0 degrees multiplied by 143 with the angle changed of sine, that is positive 42.3 degrees. We write that number, and the real part is 15.8 watts, and the imaginary part is J14.4 bars. And those are the two numbers we need to enter here, 15.8 watts, that is the active power delivered by the source A and 14.4 VARS that is the reactive power delivered by the source A thank you very much